Hello and welcome to this video about upgrading memory on DS916 Plus. As you can see, this guy has a CPU uh, Celeron, I believe it's N3170, which does support 8 gig per channel. However, this guy unfortunately only has one theme slot, so we can only put 8 gig. Let's get to it. All you need is a couple of screwdrivers, Phillips, and obviously your RAM. Preferably, you need a memory that is low voltage. Actually, it's not preferably, it's a must. You have to have low voltage, so either has a sign L or it's 1.35 volts. If you have faster memory, you can use it, it'll just go slower. Um, cool, let's get to it. So to begin, we need to remove the cover from the drives and then remove the drives themselves. Just remember the order, make sure you put it back in the right order. Then at the back, there's eight fans for, oh, sorry, eight screws for two fans. And all we need is to remove these two screws. Right. Now here's the trick part. It comes apart like so um, very easily, but there's a, there's a latch, I'm not sure if you can see it right here that it's stuck. So all you have to do is put your hand in there underneath the, the metal bar and just move it apart like so. So now you can see it came apart. Just slide in and these guys now are holding it. So we need to move them down. It's a bit challenging. Great, that's it. The, another issue is that the RAM is right behind this Synology or this sidewall. So we need to remove the, the shell. And for that, we have to remove this um, USB and SATA eSATA slot. So there is one, two screws. They are the same. We need to remove those two at the bottom. This one and two. Not this one. We will have to remove those as well, but not just yet. And from the other side, we need to remove this one and this one, the ones that hold the, the metal cage. Perfect. So now this comes apart. Perfect. Okay. So now we need to remove this guy. And these are the two fans. So just don't plug them. And then remove the SATA and USB 3 port. Great, so now we need to remove the back board. So one, two, three, four, these screws are different. Okay, so this will come apart as well and you have to and glue um, this guy it's just stuck in there. So what we we'll do is lift this and see it comes apart. Great, that's the base, we don't need this. Put this in a safe position. And here's the RAM. So as you can see, it's only, sorry. <laughs> and so here's the RAM. As you can see, it's only a single slot. So we'll just remove this. And 
put the new one put the new one in <clears throat> so this is the old one so which if you can see it and get the light come on focus Synology 4 gig Lydia 3L, it's 1866 megahertz, so it's faster, but um, in a small device like this, I don't think you can use it very well. So we're just gonna replace it with this new guy, Crucial 1600. Cool, stick it in, click. And we are done. So now to put it back, we need to we need to slide it back into the board. Perfect. Make sure you don't, that you don't forget to put this back in for grounding. Easy. Now those two four big screws. So one, two, three, four. this in so you can see the port for the drives actually let's put this guy back in first I don't think it matters because we've got clearance but um, let's put it back in fans number one number two and we'll screw it after we put this guy back in. Perfect. So make sure that this is in place as well. Which in our case it is. Okay, now let's put the cover back in. This is the other way. As you can see the, the notches, Buenos notches. One, two, three, four. So let's just undo it. Um, that's so much better. Just double check. Cover, which I don't particularly like. 
Great, we are done. Let's test if this actually worked. Great, the system booted up. And as you can see, I'm about to log in. So let's log in. And let's go to the control panel and see what I actually have 8 gig applied. Wonderful. So it is Pentium 3710 1.6 and I do have 8, 8 gig of RAM. It's really beneficial for Synology or with Synology, mainly because Synology does support ButterFS or BDRFS. It's not a very fast system as Red Hat has realized and that's why they discontinued using it, but it's very safe. But it's slow because it double checks the, the metadata every time you accessing a file. So it checks one location and then the other. And if there's a discrepancy, it tries to repair it because mistakes on, on hard drives happened and wouldn't rate. So 8 gig of RAM, what I'm trying to say, is really helpful and will give you better transfer speeds and recovery and stuff like that. So it's totally worth doing it. Wonderful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.